Two guys riding on a horse with no name. Wait, wait. Oh, I'll be damned. That's a new way to spend tax. That looks money. like the uh, the the Bioshock Arrow. Infinite. Uh, what's it called? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hero. I heard so it's White got House steampunk elements as well, I guess. As long as it keeps the presidential ass clear of tick trouble. Did you know that Wild Wild West had steampunk elements? It's one of my favorite yes, I, movies. I, I, yeah, oh my god. Should have watched that film before, this. <laughs> film before we started this. Institute is in town. I'll pass on the corporate back padding session. I don't need another retirement lecture. Here, take this to your father before it wakes up. Don't you think that head looks a bit like Zombie Morgan in GPW? I'll just tell him you've traded killing vampires for swilling cheap bourbon. Tell him. What um. Fine. Skip the presentation. But you ain't getting away from a final. It's, I'm kind of. I, I guess though. I didn't watch it as closely. I guess. Oh, did you not watch our our wonderful masterpiece GPW? I'm very. Sorry. I watched a couple episodes, but I didn't like really focus in on characters. On, like... on the things on the screen. Okay, sure. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> oh, look, a glowing thing. Funny. I listened to the commentary, bucks. man. I had it in the background when I was like working out, you know. I think I'm, the like, commentary was the best. No, the adverts were the best bit. The commentary was the yeah. next best bit. Hey, we need to run around and like find things. Well, I just found some money. There's cool, sweet. There's just like one or two things I think here. I found a bird cage. I found a dude with a hammer. I found a couple of horses. And I found the newspaper. Daily Mail news, I think so. Or Daily Mail news. I don't know what it said. It says Daily Mail news. Sweet. Nailed it. Oh, wait, you know what? Upstairs. Yep, yeah, I see one upstairs. And I see another one. I like the way that stuff just interrupts me no matter what I'm doing. It's, uh, it's got that. So is the airship called the gauntlet? You're the gauntlet. So the, the, the thing I'm wearing is a gauntlet. You're a gauntlet. Oh, found another one. Did you hear about those ones that were tentacles? of secrets. First. Two or four daily so, mails. The daily I'm so mail is a, good is a, at this shit. Jesus, these pop-ups, man, it's crazy. Stop. <laughs> my first year of cadet training. I'm, short I'm sorry, some people are really good at video games, and time. then there's the rest of you. I'm kidding, of course, but seriously. Sir. <laughs> There's probably more I missed, but we'll leave what? it at that. You want to leave it at that? I, I that. can't continue with the... Uh, oh, are you trying to attack me? Oh, bro, bring it. I like how no one cares that we're just firing off lead on each other. <laughs> why do you seem so tiny on my screen? Why do, why do we look like identical like twins? I mean, man. there's lots of questions. You look smaller. You look a lot smaller than I do. It's the president of the United Great States of America. He sends his regards. Or is it no. somebody else? A it's again. a man. I believe either of us want that. You know, he did risk his life to get this for you. That's Harrow's trinket. I'm sure you'll both be rewarded accordingly. Edgar isn't some civilian looking for a medal. This is all he knows. Your institute saw to that. My institute? This isn't about Agent Gravener, Jesse. We are on the cusp of great progress. Great change. I like his cravat. Is of critical importance to the family. Yeah, we'll get we'll go out uh, in San Fran and get ourselves a whole uh, yeah, set of I'd love a cravat. Yeah. Step up to your duties here at the manor. With all due respect, director, I am a field Oh, so he's like the director of the institute that's invented the gauntlet and he's trying to kill the vampires. Why must you always make me it looks like the one from from uh, uh, Thanos is gone, that doesn't it? <laughs> in the cast. Yeah. The Infinity Gauntlet. Infinity War, yeah, the Infinity Gauntlet. I do believe yeah. someday soon you will see it my way. And if you don't, it's my responsibility to force that change. Now, leave me be. I must prepare for the presentation. I like how in America they say presentation rather than presentation. Like, do you say presentation or do you say presentation? Like, 
Mr. Idiot. If you had to present something, what would you do? Um, ma I'm making a presentation. Officially, they oh, there's the, the president. It's President Lin Lincoln, and then the guy on the right is oh, is the guy on the left the guy, and the guy on the right is President Lincoln. I don't know. Everyone looks the same in this day and age. Uh, hello, mate. Guess you have to come around this side of the desk. There we go. Nailed it. Agent Feathers. Why do you reckon they call him that? He looks like a card shark. Ooh, upgrades. Cool. Uh, Midair shot. An enemy can be shot right after becoming airborne with a single revolver bullet. That's cool. And the other one is healing is now followed up with a shot. Five second. Ooh, they're both tempting. Uh, I think I'm going to go with the, the healy one. There's first. also right trigger if you. Oh, okay. Never mind. Oh, can I change my character's outfit? Apparently not. Except I can add a ghost scarf. Okay, cool. Uh... Hmm. All right, perks as well, right? Perks indeed. I, I, I've got no leveling up to do on my perks as far as I can see, so I think I'm good. But uh, whenever you're ready, we'll go and attend the presentation. Like, what is it you get for Christmas? Do you get presents or do you get presents? Oh, is it making me follow you? It's over here, right? Okay, it was. It's this door here, mate. Collectible. Directorial glory. Good gravy. You're obsessed with them. Portrait of William Ren 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 Renneton. Ratner or something like that. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is steampunky. Look at all this electric. Gentlemen, uh, Nikola Tesla. You'll take your seats. That's not and, Tesla. Uh, <laughs> welcome. Yeah, I'm Assistant Secretary of War, James Harrow. President Cleveland wants you to know how appreciative we are of the vital service the Rentia Institute. Rentia. His name is Rentia. As in Renter is. Rentia. Of all shapes and sizes. He also wanted me to make sure you're not blowing all our money on Mexican Monty. But that's another conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, quite. Well, uh, as I say, keep up the good work. God bless you all, and uh, God bless America. Thank you all. God bless America. Tonight. It's rare we gather in such numbers, but I believe great progress calls for momentous celebration. Our efforts in the fight against the sand I wouldn't be walking too close to if I were you, dude. Baffled by the creature's most insidious weapon, their so-called glamours. These impenetrable illusions have allowed countless fiends to slip through our grasp for too long. That ends now. Agent Rent here. We've upgraded the standard field agent's gauntlet with something our science bods have Is everybody called Rentier? Zapper. Like, do you and have to be called Rentier to work there? The when Trigger, mm -hmm. Zapper sends out an electrical impulse. Oh, cool. So we've basically got an electrobolt. How do you not electrocute yourself wearing something like that? That looks dangerous. These new gauntlets will be distributed to cells nationwide post haste, allowing us to sweep our respective territories for hammered nooks and crannies. This is the beginning of a new age, gentlemen. Armed with this gauntlet, there is no way our enemy can surprise. Except by airship! Surprise! <laughs> Nobody, nobody saw the airship come in. What can I say? A zapper. Uh, innovative device created within the RI to disrupt the vampiric illusions. Oh, I okay. think you got to do this part. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So I can, I can, <laughs> it's yeah. pretty funny. No, wait until it I, tries to strike. You'll see it's... Yeah, there yeah you go. like an electric block. That's cool. But then once you do that, you can do this. 
pretty yeah, awesome, right? Let me try again. Yeah, but you're You've the got to chosen time one. It correctly, yeah, it's like it's like a parry almost, basically. Yes. How do you do the follow up? Huh? How did you do that follow up? What follow up? Oh, are you just punching them? Okay, that's cool. You hold down right bumper. Yes. That's important. Oh, I've got a new perk. Let me perk up first. Yeah. Hey, kid. Stick with me. How do I unlock my new perk? What? You get it? It's not letting me unlock anything. Hey, you. Let's go. Whatever. Um... Hold left bumper and pull back towards you. Looking at him. Hold left bumper and look back towards you. No, nope. hold left bumper. Pull. Like that. Do it. No, no, no. All right, kid. Hold left bumper. Pull back. Hold left bumper and back. Left stick. Pulls them toward you. Oh, right. It's like a fucking thing. How close do they have to be for that? Eh, not too, too close. Oh, there we go. I mean, an airship just exploded and caught fire and not a single person proclaimed all the humanity, you know? What's your point? Just feels like a missed opportunity, really. Mm. Also, I'm pretty sure airships didn't exist at this point in time, did, did they not? What is this point in time? I don't know, but I'm guessing it's not the point in time where airships existed. I, I yeah, you, good point. But uh, Bioshock Infinite much? Bioshock Infinite much? Oh well, they they weren't even airships. That was just magic gravity stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, that's even yeah more. Okay, even, it was even better. Um, More disconnected. That's what we're going for. Are you looking forward to Bioshock 3 or whatever? The, uh, 4 or whatever they're going to call it? 4, I guess. Hell yeah. I just don't know where it's going to be set. And I'm just, and like... You can't really do underwater because we've done that. And you can't do in the sky because we've done that. And we can't really do space because, like, System Shock did that. So, I'm wondering where it's going to be. Apparently, it's going to be in, like, the Antarctica or something, maybe. But Interesting. We'll see. We can't really just headshot some noise. Well, that work. Flying dudes. Butterflies, whatever you want to call them. Lost you there. Come, come back here. Oh, Jesus. Nice. Good job. A good job there, Zach. You did good, kid. Mm. You did great. Get up, you bub. <laughs> do you hear me? Couldn't have gotten far. Jess, thank Christ. Where's my father? Still kicking ass. Last time I saw him. <laughs> Still I dead. Really like this game. Dare I say it? Listen, he wants us to destroy <laughs> the archives. I'm actually having fun for once. <laughs> 
You can tell when I'm like just more interested in the game because I'm not talking shit as much. Um. Hold up, hell. You're gonna be fine. You okay, agent? Just hold on. Just hold in there, kid. You're gonna be fine. It has a very like 2000s, 90s Please. kind of game. Like, what is it? God Hand? I'm trying to think of other games that are just like. I don't want to say like simple, but. Well, that's kind of what I was saying in the last one about, like, it's a bit like those hack and slashy games from, like, the 2010s, like, you know. Well, it has, like, the collectibles, the random, you know, like, secrets that you need to find, but, like, nothing too overwhelming. It's not as extensive as, like, a Metrovania kind of game where you have to get these certain things and then traverse back to where you had previously been. This is pretty linear. So, I'm trying to think of another game that, like, a uh, hard reset was a little bit like this. You want to do it? I got it. Does the electric work on electric? So now you can hold left bumper and put hold forward, and you'll go to towards the enemy. Otherwise, you hold backwards if you want to bring him to towards you. Oh, nice. That's cool. Yeah. Because there's like a button mashiness to it, um, but the little bit of like a, you know, not combo, but like you need to know certain prompts to do certain things, like pull them in. Do you, do you know what I love about do. the staircase? Mm. The fact that we can jump up and grab onto this, which is higher than the bottom stair that's still intact on the staircase, rather than just stepping up. I didn't up even know you could do that. <laughs> I did not know you could do that. You've blown my mind. I've no, you can't. This, like, you can't climb times. up those stairs, which is crazy. Oh, okay. I'm just saying, like, it's oh. wild. Like, you should absolutely you, be able to <laughs> climb up those stairs. Yeah. That should be easy peasy. No, no Compared brainer. to, like, just using all of your upper body strength to grab this one plank that's, like, twice as hard. All of your upper body strength? All of it? Every single last drop of it. Oh. Whee! I'll catch you. So I guess we've got to go up there somehow, but we've got to turn this wheel. Do you you gotta, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Drink that sucker. I think we were trying to blow up this whole facility or something. Destroy this place before we break into the archives. That would make Thank sense. You. That's opened up like something we can shoot over there. Okay. Jesus, gotta get out of we here. did it. It's gonna blow. I like how he's only just coming to the realization after he shoots all the exploding tank things that it's gonna blow. So those headlock? guys, you can easily just hold to and pull them towards you. Oh, really? It's okay. Kills. Yeah, it's instant kills. Nice. Look at that. Oh, we're getting mobbed there. Jesus. And then this, the uppercuts and the slams right now are great. I think right now still. Maybe not. Well, I whiffed every single punch there, um, somehow. So yeah, holding forward and doing the, you know, holding a right bumper gives you like an uppercut, uppercut, and then you'll slam them down for like a, um, I guess a slam attack, I guess. I don't know the best way to word that. Noise. Oh, Let's get the heck go. out of here. Let's go. I think we want to go. I nearly fell down the hole there. No, we want to jump it. I think. Yeah, yeah, there we go. There's a there's a oh, swingy I'm rope. I, uh, but I, huh? There's a then, secret then we, go up this we way. want. Okay. Oh, a secret. Sorry. Well, I there know. was. I think we might have missed it, but it's okay. You're still down there, right? No. Oh, I can't go back. Oh, before we swung across, you mean? I see. Mm-hmm. 
My bad. No, it was my bad too. Who wouldn't even let me come go up? So what are you eating from Taco Bell today? Nothing. Come in, take what you eating from Taco Bell. I'm stuck. Yeah, how have you got over there? No, I'm. My game just like won't let me jump up. Oh. But you have to come over to this corner where. I can't get back down, so I can't. Just keep going forward and see if it. You see know. if it just teleports you. Yeah. Mm. 86 bucks. Yeah, I can't yes, progress please. any further without you because it's one of those you've got to be together bits. Mm. Mm. Where Come are back. you? Oh, you can't. I can't mm, get back down either. Yeah, well, I'm... but you're in the wrong area. Like you should be like down below. You're in the wrong area. I, I can't really quite see where you are. You still on the right side of the swing, like across? You, you've gone back somehow. Client disconnected. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> okay, are you still there though? Uh, I pressed continue and then it just kicked me back to the same area. Okay, so can you rejoin? Let me see how that would work. This does seem like one of the games that they didn't really like figure this out. It says watch game. I mean, worst case scenario, I can just like quit out and then uh, we can just go back to the last checkpoint, I guess. Well, yeah, I guess that's what we got to do. Essentially, that is what we're figuring out. Yay, yay, yay. 44 seconds since my last save. What am I going to do without that 44 seconds of my life? No! <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're welcome back, please. Come back now, please. Thank you, please. Thank you. No, no, you join me. You join me. I don't join you. Is that what I'm doing? Oh, okay. I'm quitting. Sorry. Evil West multiplayer. You can play Evil West in a cooperative mode with one friend. Just the Only one. Only one. Do not have more than one friend. Okay, ready? Oh, up. yeah, my difficult, my difficulty level was way harder than yours. <laughs> Put down your churros and ready up. They're not churros. They're cashew clusters with almonds and pumpkin seeds. I see. That sounds decidedly healthy. Mm-hmm. You want to diet? Uh-huh. Are we going for Mexican food? No, but... In San oh, Francisco? out there? Who knows? Maybe. We'll have to hunt some spots down. It seems rude for us not to have Mexican food. There's just not enough days to eat all the food we want to eat, really, if I'm honest. Mm -hmm. it's, uh... What the fuck yeah. is this? <laughs> Go primary. fighting each other. No, you were fighting me. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's right. Perk point. Nice. Level three. What? Time to perk um, up. Um Quake Punch. Hold LB and RB to jump forward and smash the ground. That sounds fantastic. Boom. Look at that. Doesn't seem to have that much effect though. Oh wait, oh so you're oh wait, I think we have to do the quake punch, right? Is that what's forcing us to do? I don't see any other ones that you can choose. Okay. I like how it shows the tutorial window for me when you choose it. I'm like what? I've seen it once already. The you must watch the it again. This game does seem a little junk. A little well yeah, right. Go 
to the right. One hundred and fifteen big ones. Oh, I got one fifty-six. You got one fifteen. Yeah. yeah. It must be random. Again, another reason why it's strange. Or maybe because the UK, you know? You guys yeah, is, that's uh, a currency conversion. The cur yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Inflation. Jesus, there's a bunch of dudes right now. Yeah, we got our quake punch, so. Doesn't seem massively yep. effective, if I'm honest. It just stuns them, but yeah, we are, you know, supposed to be the idea. It stops you getting over every long, game. Honestly. Yeah, but we're not supposed to be, like, super overpowered. I don't want us to make it too oh, easy. These enemies are getting a bit tougher on me, so. Remember to use your gun, you know, utilize that as much as you can. And remember, you can hold forward and back, so if you want to get towards the enemy or away, that's up to you. Nice. Good shooting. Good shooting there, Tex! A test. Two hundred and ninety-six. Nice. Did that's you get two ninety-six, or did you get some? That's what I felt like I read, but at the same time, I wasn't paying too close. Oh Jesus! What the what heck is, is that? <laughs> get down! Get to the chopper! Loud! Get him out of here. I got this. Don't be cross with me, Father. Oh, it's Wednesday again. She's back. The mercy of these savages. And she's brought zombie Morgan with her. Do that, you fleshy toad. You nearly hit him. Oh, Jesus. She can teleport. It's all gonna be a Pete Tong. That boiler's gonna blow. I had hoped you'd make it more difficult. He must have been lightning fast to run away from that explosion. What the heck? Yeah, let alone uh Talk about action movie. <laughs> she survived an explosion to the face, to be fair, so that's not too bad. But wouldn't 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 flames damage vampires just like sunlight? Because they give off infrared, right? It's ultraviolet. That's just the problem. Sure. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, maybe I'm. I mean, I don't want to say you're overthinking things, but. Hey man, look, no, there's, there's, it's, it's, it, it, scientific accuracy is important in the fantasy song. <laughs> Boo! Get out of here! Go hang out with Neil deGrasse Tyson. Can we not enjoy things anymore? Listen, what have you got against Neil? <laughs> Every time something comes out, that guy's got to poo-poo it. Any movie that has anything to do with, like, science. I think he just was talking bad about the new Dune movie. Well, We're not bad, but if you had to watch a movie, but it's a, about, it is a joke. You know, kind of in the if you had to watch a movie about, I don't know, snorkel diving, and it was full of inaccuracies, wouldn't you get upset because you knew better? Yeah, but it's like so specific to who I am uh, to not have that disconnect. I know, but, but it's not my fault. That I you're remember not when a the movie Sunshine I'm just trying to get you to came relate. out. <laughs> I'm letting you know when the movie Sunshine came out, which I loved, yeah. Ryan Cox. 
mm. was like talking around. about it. So, oh, was he was he poo pooing all over that as well? No, he was actually like brought in on the film to like make sure. Oh, he was like, were, like accurate scientific consultant. I see. Yeah, like yeah, exactly. But Rentier Boomstick, lovely. Well, that's been another thirty, so I guess we could end it there. Uh, another 30 another 30 as we say another dirty 30 uh, <laughs> dirty <laughs> 30 <laughs> uh, I like this rent your boomstick though it looks fun say that my girlfriend calls that's not good Ooh. well nope. don't don't forget to like and comment and subscribe we've got to go bye bye <laughs> gotta go bye <laughs>